It's the attack of the slimy fish monsters. It's the end of the world. This is the series where I tell you a story, its subsequent theories and explanations, and then I let you make up your mind. Today a slimy episode, like you hadn't guessed yet, about unidentified creatures that wash up on the beach. Globsters. Globsters are usually unidentified and mysterious carcasses of marine animals that wash up on ocean beaches all around the world. Some are studied, others are discarded, and yet others probably go unnoticed. Cryptozoology defines globsters as an unidentified organic mass which has washed ashore from a body of water. It's slime, man! It's disgusting slime! The term Globster was first coined by a naturalist and writer called Ivan T. Saunders to describe a washed up unidentified carcass on the coast of Tasmania. The name stuck with mainstream media and has been used ever since. What was this guy thinking? The earliest recorded sighting dates from 1808 in Scotland and became known as the Stronze Beast. Although some are quickly explained and some theories exist about them, there are still several cases that defy any explanation. Slime! I think I told you that. Let's start with one we already talked about. On the 25th of September in 1808, a carcass washed up on the beach near Stronze, Scotland, that measured 16.8 meters or 55 feet in length, 1.12 meters or 4 feet in width, and had a circumference of 3 meters or 10 feet. It was said to have a brisk mane, glowed in the dark when wet, and had three sets of flippers. It generated quite a stir, even when it was determined to be a decaying, basking shark carcass. That is a monstrously big fish! Possibly the most famous one washed up on St. Augustine Beach, Florida in 1896 and was very imaginatively called the St. Augustine Monster. Scientists at the time were unable to identify the carcass. Scientists hardly explain anything, they usually generate more questions. The weirdest one is maybe the beast of Tenby, found by Peter Bailey at Tenby in Wales in 2013. This is because it's an amalgamy of different animals. The photo was posted on Facebook and the debate started. Is it a horse or... Who oh God help us all! One of the most debated is probably the Montauk monster that washed up on the beach of Montauk, New York. The explanations range from a mutant over failed experiment to several different animals. I'm actually contemplating a separate vid on this one. The carcass mysteriously disappeared before samples could be taken. Yeah, abducted by aliens, no doubt. I could talk about more sightings, like for instance, Trunko, who washed up in Russia, the four mile globster, who weighed about four tons, the rock nest monster, who looked like a sea snake, or the monster of Folly Beach who turned out to be a prehistoric Atlantic sturgeon fish. The list goes on and on. Trust me, it's a big list. Yeah, a lot of slime. <coughs> so, 
Some of the explanations for Gloucesters lie in existing animals. First and foremost, the remains of giant squids, long believed to be drunken sailors' tails. It is now known that species of squid exist who grow to enormous lengths. And of course, they also die and maybe sometimes wash ashore. No tentacle squids, oh yeah! Another explanation lies in the abundance of collagen present in whales. It's a very strong and durable substance that possibly takes a while to decompose and may also wash ashore. Some of the scientifically tested lobsters were identified as sperm whales. Uh, no, I'm not going there. Basking sharks are also perfect candidates. They are mostly cartilage and can grow to vast lengths of 8.2 meters or 27 feet. Some have even been known to reach 12.2 meters or 40 feet. Big ass fish! There are other more mysterious theories out there. Could it be remains of an as yet to identify species undiscovered for now? Could it be that there are survivors from prehistoric times in our oceans we have no knowledge about? Could it be that due to global warming and melting ice, prehistoric frozen giants also melt and wash ashore? Or could they be mutants either naturally occurring or from animal experimentation? I was half expecting an alien explanation would come up, but uh, no! This is another one where any one explanation doesn't cover the whole phenomena. See if I care because you decide. Did you like the video? Click the like button. Leave comments or start a discussion in the comment box. If you want to see more, you can subscribe to my channel. I have a vlog channel, so if you want to get bored, why don't you check it out? And you can follow me on social media. All links in the description. See you next time!